Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can move your apps to SD card in Moto G6 and Moto G6 Play. Now in the new versions of Android, Google has made it really difficult to move applications to internal storage, especially in the budget smartphone. Phones like Redmi series and all, they don't really have that option at all. Thankfully, Moto has not removed this option. And if you have a Moto G6, G6 Play, you can move all your applications on SD card, except for a few which developers don't allow. Most of them can be moved. I'm going to show you exactly that in this video. Just make sure to have a class 10 SD card for using this apps to SD card thing. So I've inserted that and when you insert it, you'll get an option a prompt where it will say that you can either format or start using your SD card. In case you have used this SD card on some other device or some other phone, it may ask you to format it. So that's the option format it so you can start using it. Now when I go to my internal storage and check on my SD card, it's available as a portable storage, which means I can use this only to store audio or the video or songs and images only. In this mode, in the portable storage mode, you cannot move applications inside it. So the only way out is I need to format it as an internal storage and then I can use or move my applications to SD card. So this is what we're going to do next. Now to format this card as an internal storage, what we're going to do is go inside that storage, just tap on it. And there's a three dot, three vertical dots. Tap on that and it will open storage settings part. So just tap on the storage settings and this will give you a new screen where you have an option called as format as internal. Now here's a warning though. When you format this SD card as an internal, all your data inside it will be gone. So make sure to back up all the data Maybe you have photos or something inside on your PC or anywhere on some other phone, but do it. When formatting as internal storage, the speed will depend on what kind of card you have. If you have a class 10 SD card or higher than that, the speed is going to be particularly brilliant. But if you use anything less than class 10, your app performance will be slower. Your phone performance will be slower because the read write speed is very, very slow on these cards. Now as soon as the format is complete, you'll get an option here that if you want to move your files from your internal storage to external storage. Right now it gives some option to move images and files and all those things. And you can see that I can clear like around 4 GB of data if I use this option now. But that's not my intention. I need to move applications to SD card. So I'm going to skip this for now. Now, once we are back here, you can see that the internal storage is not a portable storage anymore. Also, the overall storage of my Moto G6 has increased. So it's showing a combination of internal storage and external storage, which is now formatted as internal storage. So this takes up a total of 16.74 GB. Now to move the applications to SD card, we need to go to settings, go to applications, where you can see list of all the applications installed. So just open that list. Now you need to select one of those games you want to move to SD card and configure the internal storage option. Now mind you that it is not possible to move all applications if the developer doesn't want it. Moreover, if you have a slow SD card, it will create a performance issue. Now to move the application to the SD card, we need to tap on it, select storage, which is right now as an internal storage. So just select storage and you will have an option to change the internal storage. So we'll tap on change and select the SD card option. Now depending on the size of the game, the speed of your card, it will take time accordingly. Now if you're using a slow SD card, your application performance will degrade, your phone experience will degrade. So always use a class 10 SD card and nothing else at the minimum if you do not want to spend a lot of money on the cards. Now, after this process is complete, if you go back to Asphalt 8 listing or the Asphalt Tigerborn listing, you will see that it only occupies a few MBs of data on your internal storage. The rest of them has been moved 
to the internal storage or the SD card. So what has happened is, depending on which game or the developer, how it defines, not all files will be removed, but only a part of that. The same can be done with the Asphalt 8 game, which I'm moving right now. You can move it to your SD card and it will have a game occupying a little amount of data similar to what happened to the previous game. So that's it for this video, guys. This is how we move applications to SD card. But here's a bit of warning. The card which you have installed is now part of the phone, the part of the storage. So if you ever take out your SD card abruptly and try putting in another phone, first of all, it will not work. Second, you will lose access to all your games and all, and you will need to reinstall everything. Lastly, the performance of the applications and the phone will degrade as well. So if you ever want to remove it, you can go back to your settings and again change it to portable storage. But before doing that, move back all your applications which was on the SD card back to your internal storage or the primary storage. So thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and let us know what else we can do for you. Thank you for watching.